Hi, I'm Tom Zelenka. Now I'm just a beginner in the kitchen. In every episode of Carolina Cooking, I meet a different chef from a famous restaurant in the Carolinas Ooh. who'll teach me to cook their secret recipes mm. in just 30 minutes or less. Really good. Welcome to Carolina Cooking, shot on location at the mansion on Forsyth Park and the 700 Kitchen Cooking School. Now here's your host, Tom Zelenka. Hi, welcome to Carolina Cooking. I'm your host, Tom Zelenka. This is the show where we find the best chefs from the best restaurants all over the Southeast, and we bring them here to teach you and me how to make their incredible recipes. Now, summer comes along and you may have a ton of these in the garden, or you know, it may be dead of winter and you have a bunch of these at the grocery store still. We're gonna show you how to make a salad with some summer vegetables. And to uh, help us out is George Spriggs from the North Beach Grill in Tybee Island, Georgia. George, thank you very much for coming along. We're making a warm summer vegetable salad, but you could use any kind of vegetables in this, right? You really could. Um, these items I chose just because of their availability mm -hmm. and they, uh, they taste great during this time of the year. But you could use uh, peppers, uh, broccoli, uh, other types of peas, um, other types of mushrooms. Oh, okay. So your choices are varied in this particular dish. So we're using uh, zucchini. Zucchini. Yellow squash. Summer yellow squash. We're also putting in some corn here. Uh, corn on the cob, which yep. we're going to uh, shave off of that. And what kind of mushrooms are These those? These are baby portobello mushrooms. All right. If you so baby portobellas, if you didn't have portobellas, you could use what other kind? Uh, anything, but mushrooms, porcinis, oyster. Okay. Um, uh, Whatever's available. All right. Well, what do we need to do first with this? Do we need to start with the squash or? Well, look, you have them in your hands, so okay. let's start with the squash All and right. the zucchini. I'll clear us a space here. And what do you need me to do with these? All right. Let's start by cutting the ends off of them. Okay. I can do that. All Dun -dun. Right. And uh, it's going to be easier just to cut them in half. Okay. Long ways? Long ways. Okay. All right. Ta da. Okay, let's uh, cut them in half one more time. Okay. So we're quartering them. We're quartering them, right. Ooh. Alrighty, quartered. Let me do the same here. Now, flip them over. Flip them. And uh, let's, uh, yeah, on the flat side, you got that right. Okay. And uh, then you just want to make some small slices on it. Oh. So that, uh, get off. Okay. Okay. All right. Perfect. Small slices. Yeah. All right. Do I need to do another you one? Do one more. Okay. Now, does it matter? Does it affect the taste if you have, you know, those big jumbo zucchinis that people always hand you out of their garden? Because, you know, they just got so many and they've grown to be like three feet long and 200 <laughs> pounds. Does the taste, is the taste affected by the, the size or? Do you find that they're all the same, whether they're small or large or? Um, the taste pretty much is the same. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, what are you going to, what you're using them for. Okay. And, and this size works best for this dish. Okay. Know? Um, if you're making a big super stew, the bigger ones, you know, mm -hmm. just, you don't have to use quite as many. Okay. Oh. I think we, is that how we're leaving them? That's how we're leaving them. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, we may go back and and cut them one more time, but for now that's pretty okay. good. Okay, alrighty. And so what's next? The so next, uh, we're gonna take the mushrooms. The mushrooms. Now, what we do need to do with these, we do need to peel them. Peel them? Right, so. How do you peel a mushroom? Okay, first of all, these uh, portobellas have a little cap on the inside. Yep. And we'll just pop that out. Oh, just pop it out, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if you keep it on this uh, back uh -huh. side, these, grab it by the edge here. Okay. And just pull. Ooh. Oh, I've never peeled a mushroom. It's pretty therapeutic, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, why are we peeling mushrooms? Well, Is it just for presentation or? For presentation, sometimes the, the, uh, the uh, outer covering can get a little chewy or stringy. Um, so you take it off. Uh, also, we don't have to wash them. If you peel them. Oh yeah, no, that's a good point. That's a good point. Alrighty. All right. I think my mushroom's done now, George. What do we do now? What's the next step? Okay, well, we're going to do exactly the same to it as we did to the zucchini and squash. Oh, okay. Make strips? We'll make strips. Ah, I All gotcha. Right. Okay. So just place it flat on the board. Flat on the board. Uh, rest your, uh, you got it, right? Yep. Okay. And then just start slicing. Thin strips. Thin strips? Thin, thin strips. strips. 
Mm. Maybe I should saw a little bit. Is that better? That's better. Okay. That first one didn't look so good. All righty. Thin strips from our baby portabellas. Could you use big portabellas? You could. Sorry, I'll just put it on the floor there. Okay, All right. so my there's my strips right there. Okay, All right. perfect. Very good. All righty, and now what's the next step? What's next? Corn on the cob. Okay. All right, and we're gonna let you do this. All right, what do we uh, do? This there? has already been shucked and washed, of course. Get okay. a few little strings on there. But um, we wanna place the most uh, level side down on the board so it doesn't okay. slip from under you. All righty. Take your knife. Knife. Um, you wanna start at the back side of the kernels. Back and just uh huh, like right there. Right there, right there, and just go straight down. Straight down. Mhm. Mm okay. And they come right off. There you Ooh, go. Ooh, look at that. Just turn it. And get some more. Yep. All right. Excellent. Well, and this is better than just getting the can, getting out the old can opener and cracking open the lid. Much better. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you have to, you can get a bag of frozen corn to do this, but make the canned corn last. And what would you call this step? Shaving the corn off the cob. Shit. Okay. Uh -huh. Just asking. Oh, okay. Just curious. All right. Uh, and do all of it? Yeah. All right. Yes. Pretty Ooh, good. that's a nice clean shave. That is. Look at that. All right. We've done this before. Well, I, you know, I have shaved corn. I do it all the time at home because it gets that, you know, it's just terrible. So I, I try to help it out. Okay. All right. So, and women like a nice shaved corn. Yeah. All right, so what do we do next? Um, let's grab that, the bowl? content bowl, and let's uh, put all the items in there. All right. Okay, so everything's yeah. chopped up. Is that all we need? Uh, the last item. All right. Well, the last two items. We have some green onions here. We're mm -hmm. going to chop those and add that in. Okay. And we have a few um, snow peas here. Snow peas? And really, nothing really needs to be done to these. We oh. can just add those right oh, just straight in there. In. And so that makes the salad? That makes a salad along with the zucchini and squash. Zucchini goes in there. And let's dice these. And what do we do with those? Oh. Yep. Got a clean space. There we go. Okay, we're just going to lay those flat. Okay. And you're going to start at this end. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to start chopping all the way up. Big chop, little chop? Uh, medium chop. Medium chop. Okay, just uh, make sure your thumbs and fingers stay out of the way. I try. Okay. Ever since that shop accident back in 72, all right. I've learned a lesson. Okay. Great. There we go. And we add all that in there. Onions in there. Voila. All right. Well, that sounds good. When we come back, we're going to be uh, mixing up, I guess, our dressing and doing some other stuff. Carolina cooking. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas, all in one book, the Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find the Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. Welcome back to Carolina Cooking. I'm here with George Sprigs from the North Beach Grill on Tybee Island. And uh, George, we have all our vegetables here chopped up. Now what do we have to do? Well, we have to saute the vegetables and cook off our sesame seeds. Okay. So we can then assemble the salad. This uh, is our sesame seeds, right? These are the sesame seeds. All and right. uh, we have a pan here that's already started to heat up. Okay. Let's go ahead and add the sesame seeds to it. Do we need any oil or anything? No oil. Oh, no, really? No liquid at all. All righty. Just all those? Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay. And what does this do? This is going to toast them. Ah, It's going okay. to change uh, them to a very nice golden brown color, bring out the flavor in them, crisp okay. them up a little bit, make Alrighty. them even better for the salad. And so we can let that go for a few oh, minutes. Oh, okay. So it okay. takes a few minutes? It takes a few minutes. Okay. And in the meantime, let's uh, start grating some uh, ginger. Some ginger. Okay. This would be our ginger right that here, That would right? be our ginger. All righty. Mmm, nice, nice, good smell on fresh yeah, This ginger. salad is uh, very pungent. The flavors are big and bold. There's nothing shy about it. Okay. Ginger helps it accomplish that goal. So let's uh, start grating some in that uh, bowl right there. Okay. <laughs> is that enough? Let's look. Oh. A little more. A little more? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. That's if you didn't have these, you could just use a file at the home, at the house there. You just get one out of the toolbox and just use that. Um, 
Probably not. Sure. Okay. All okay. right. Well. All right. All right. Let's scrape that off into the right into the bowl. All right. Oh. Right. Those are starting to smell like they're, the sesame they're seeds, burning. Right? Uh, is it bad if I burn the sesame seeds? No, you're not burning them. Just okay. Just start shaking your pants. See how the colors Ooh. start to change? Great. All righty. Give them oh a, yeah. We're gonna give them another minute or so. Okay. All righty. All right. Let's uh, start on our vegetables. Okay. Um, let's add a little of the oil to the pan. This is the oil right here. Right. This has also been preheated. Is so it olive oil? Extra virgin olive oil? Uh, it's just a blended olive oil. Blended. Okay. How much do you want? That's great, right there. Okay. All right. Ooh, and it's already smoking. It's already smoking. Our pan is hot. Let's uh, turn that down a yeah. little bit. All righty. What do we want in there? Let's go ahead and add the garlic. All right, garlic. This is garlic. That's right garlic. Here. Okay. Oh, get in there, boys. All right, what Let's else? Let's add the shallots. Shallots would be this. Oh, that smells mm -hmm. incredible right here. Shallots. Okay. Then I guess I need to start moving that around yeah, so they don't smooth. burn. All right, now let's add the vegetables to the pan. Okay, these right here? Those right there. All righty. There we go. No worries. Get in there, boys. All righty. Right. Okay. Um, so we can stir just stir those. Stir those a little bit. I'll check on your seeds while right. you're doing that. This is good. Ooh. Okay. So those are getting nice and toasty. Yeah, I think they're about ready. And okay. Set them to the side. How long there. do we let the vegetables go for? Well, we want them to be, get out what we call al dente. We don't want them to get soft and mushy, but we do want to get uh, to a flavor where they're to a point where they're a little more edible than they are now. Al dente like pasta? Al dente like pasta. Ah, you know, okay. Uh, cooked but not. Uh... Oh, oh. Whoa. I'm impressed. Sorry. I'm very impressed. All right. All right. You ready? Okay. Here we go for the big finish. Voila. Whoa! All right. Been have practicing just a hair. Uh, whoop, we lost the mushroom. All right. Uh, lemon? Yeah, just squeeze it right in there. Just, okay. Uh, not the whole thing, but uh, just a little of the juice. Not the whole thing? Not okay. all the juice. Oh, I gotcha. All right. Excellent. That's good. Okay. Let's throw a couple of bay leaves in there. These are bay leaves? I'm sorry. You're right, they're basil leaves. Basil, okay. And do we have to rip them up or anything? No, they oh. go in their hole. All right, there we go. Get in there, boys. Okay. All right. Uh, a pinch of salt. A pinch of salt, I can do that. Do you want more salt or are you good with That's that? That's great right okay. there. And a little pinch of pepper. Pinch of pepper. Right. Let's stir that. For luck. The pepper works. I don't know if pepper it works. It does? I don't know. All I don't right. know. Well, 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 there you go. All right, oh, okay. okay. We're doing good here. That doesn't look very oh. lucky right there. Now I'm making a bigger mess. All right. Oh, okay. All right. How um, do you? The last step mm -hmm. is the Sambuca. Sambuca. Now that's what gives this this licorice flavor. Oh, okay. okay. I've been smelling licorice this whole time. Is that's that right. what it is? That's what it is. Oh. Uh, it's a great after dinner drink. It also works well in this particular dish. Hmm, very nice. The other item you can use is an item called Pernod. It also will give uh, your food that licorice flavor. Okay. So let's start drizzling that in the pan. Tom, Tom, Tom. Sorry. All right, come on. It's very sweet. Very nice. <laughs> That's oh. one of its qualities. You, yep. you want it in the pan? In the pan. Excellent. All righty. And are we still tossing? We're still tossing or stirring, whichever one is easiest. I'm getting just when I thought I was getting good. Just when you thought. Just when I thought I was That's getting good. That's what happens when we think. I'll get back out the spoon. Fine. All righty. And so we let that stir up. And how long do we let that go Actually, before? Actually, it's ready. Oh, okay. It is ready. All righty. Well, when we come back, I'm going to be talking to Eris Ragazaeus and find out which wine he has paired with our summer salad when Excellent. Carolina cooking continues. And so we can pretty much just take it off the heat, right? right? Do it, right? Yes, you can. Oh, okay. All righty. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas all in one book, the Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find the Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. Welcome back to Carolina Cooking. I'm here with our wine expert, Eris Ragazaeus, in the wine cellar of the mansion on Forsyth Park. And Eris, we're doing a warm vegetable salad. Now, does the does warm vegetables make it any different for you than Ooh, cold vegetables? Not for me. How about Sambuca? We put some Sambuca in the dressing. Well, 
it's a it's a little bit of a flavor ingredient. It's not really taking over the dish. Okay. The main function of this dish is to present you with a, mill, a medley of flavors of all these vegetables that are in there. Okay. And so I wanted to get a wine that would give you that same sort of medley of flavors. What did you pick? I picked a Australian Sauvignon Blanc. Now, is Australia known for making Sauvignon no, Blancs? No, they're not known for making Sauvignon Blancs, but... <laughs> Uh, again, generalizations can be very, very tricky. Mm -hmm. uh, while Australia is noted for being a hot, dry climate that's very suitable mm -hmm. for Cabernet, Shiraz, and big, rich Chardonnays. Yeah, a, a variety of reds is what I've yeah, noticed but, but coming out of Australia. Yeah, but basically big, rich wines. Mm -hmm. Here you have a classically structured, very bright, crisp, very, mm. very aromatic, high Fruity. acid Sauvignon Blanc mm -hmm. with a lot of interesting almost vegetal flavors, a little bit of uh, gooseberry, a little bit of bell pepper. Bell pepper. Okay. Hmm. A lot of fruit flavors, but that nice sharp acidity that you don't normally get in Australian wines. Yeah. Australia grows wines over a thousand plus miles. But it's all hot, right? No. There are so many different little microclimates and so many soil varieties that mm -hmm. you're always going to find a little place different. Hmm. And here in South Australia, normally very hot climate, up in the Adelaide Hills, a little subregion called Lenswood is where this wine comes from. Making very classically structured wines, more like you would find in the Loire Valley of France or in even uh, New Zealand where it's a colder climate. Mm. So again, generalizations can really lead you down the wrong path. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, Sauvignon Blanc is one of the best wines grown in the Adelaide Hills and probably makes Australia's best Sauvignon Blancs. Well, it's uh, very good to know and it, I'm sure it's gonna go good with our salad. I actually have to get back and put it all out on the plate and make it just look as pretty as you see it there when Carolina Cooking continues. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas all in one book, the Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find the Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. Hi, welcome back to Carolina Cooking. I'm here with George Briggs from North Beach Grill on Tybee Island, and we are just finishing up our warm summer vegetable salad, we have our warm summer vegetable saute, and we have our warm summer set, okay, they're not warm summer. We have our sesame seeds toasted, Toast. right? Correct. So now what do we have to do to make it look as pretty as yours? This one is, is yours right here. And that this one is, is what I am attempting. So what do we have to do to make it this pretty? All right, uh, first thing we do is we have some Boston lettuce there that we've uh, rinsed and drained. Boston lettuce? Boston lettuce. B-O-S-T-O-N. B-O-S-T-O-N. It comes from Boston? Um, via the grocery store, it oh, comes from Boston. I gotcha, okay, all right. <laughs> I was just curious, I've never heard of Boston lettuce. I mean, I've heard of other kinds, you know, iceberg, Lu red leaf. Louisiana lettuce? Never, no, Louisiana Kentucky lettuce? lettuce? No. Wow, I had no idea. Oh, where have you been? I, I, obviously not the same grocery store you've been to. So what am I doing with this Boston lettuce? The Boston lettuce, you're gonna line the plate with that. Boston lettuce, you put it on the plate there. I don't know, I, that was a tempting Boston accent, okay? Is that Thank good? you for letting us know. Yes, yes, okay. either that or it was the worst John Wayne you've ever heard in your entire life. Alrighty, so That's mine's great. all over the plate. All right, what next? Next, we're gonna slice and make uh, two very nice slices from that tomato there. Now let's, uh, yeah, you need to turn it that like way. Okay, like this. Alrighty. Let's start by cutting off the end. Cutting off the end. There you go. Very good, just set that aside. Okay, we don't eat that. All, All right, right what Now let's. Uh, Big, thick slices? Uh, a little less than that. Right here? Right there is great. One. One. Now see, you did Two. something that I haven't even learned to do, and that is to make a straight cut on a tomato. Oh, really? I'm really impressed. Okay. Okay. Well, so I have a sharp knife, does that count? That helps. You right. don't need, that's it. We don't need, well, oh, okay. We can use I three. I wanted to use three. All right, that's fine. All right, what do I need to do with these? Just you place those in the center. Center. Uh, kind of overlap them just a little. There you go, boys. There you are. All righty. All right, let's take a little, little pinch of salt. Salt. And season them. On just the tomatoes? On just the tomatoes. Okay. A little pinch of pepper. A pinch of pepper. Great. Okay. Now, with your tongs. Those oh, are your tongs. I couldn't, for, couldn't remember. Okay, All right. let's, take the, let's bring the whole pan Vegetables? Over. Yeah, let's bring them a little closer. All righty. And just, right, put them on top. 
And you like them stacked, huh? A little, yeah. Height. Height. All right. That now is pretty. That's great. Now let's get a little bit more corn. A little more corn? And let that just kind of fall wherever it may. Oh, okay. There okay. you go. And some sesame seeds. Sesame seeds. We don't need all of those. Okay. And you're just going to kind of... Let it sprinkle down. There you go. Okay. Excellent. All right. Excellent. Okay. Well, I'm going to pour you a glass of wine here. You're welcome to pick up a fork and give it a taste and see how you like it. We have a Sauvignon Blanc that Eris recommended to us. Well, thank there you very you much. And I'm going to give it a taste here and see how good it is. There we go. Up. Oh. Mmm. Feel free to grab a fork. That is good. That is very good. Mm. To find out more about our recipe, to find out more about our Sauvignon Blanc, Chef George here, or the North Beach Grill, visit our website at www.carolinacooking.tv. I'm Tom Zelenka, and that's Carolina Cooking. Good job. Thank you. Very good. Mm. I really like this. It's very good. Go to carolinacooking.tv for the recipes featured on this show. Plus, on carolinacooking.tv, you'll find more information on the wine, chefs, and foods of Carolina Cooking. That's carolinacooking.tv. Carolina Cooking is filmed on location in 700 Kitchen Cooking School at the Mansion on Forsyth Park Hotel in Savannah, Georgia. For details on their hands-on cooking classes, call 888-711-5114 to book a class.